Hi friends, today I would like to talk to you a little bit about markers. Okay, so this is just a quick uh, shading just to show you the value tone of those three markers I have. So here we have a, a gray, cool gray number two, number three, which is a little bit darker. And then we have a color, which is a, a light, uh, basically it's a light blue. Campagnola, whatever, and it's very nice because it's almost a violet color. So, first of all, when you use markers, you must use a marker, marker layout paper, okay? So, you can find from Canson, which is a very good brand, not expensive, and this is the one you should have. This one has also has also an advantage. The advantage is if I take a pencil like my Faber-Castell dark indigo blue, that, that you can make, a, I don't know, let's make a cube, okay? Okay, so, now that we have this cube, we could use this uh, number three marker and have our surface done very gently, very nicely. Now the marker paper, it's a perfect one to make sure that uh, the paper does not bleed and you don't have, uh, you see how nice? Bad surprises, okay? Then, uh, this is... Uh, Trace the shadow, okay. So this will be the shadow, and for the shadow. I can use again the number three, okay. I know that it's the same color that we should, you used here, but don't worry because I will, I will pass over again and that's thanks to the marker property. You will see that we can just make this darker. Okay, you see, now we have a sort of, uh, how can I say, the main, the main work done. We have our shadow, we have our cube, but there are still lots of things missing. So first of all, let's make that shadow darker because we really want to make sure that the shadow, the shadow is gonna be darker. Okay, so once the, the, the marker is dry onto the paper, we can pass it over and you will see that it becomes always darker because the marker paper has this property. It helps to become darker with the same marker, you see? Look. Okay, so now this is our value for the shadow, but it's not finished, we, we still have something to do. Now, about this part, I will apply dark to light.
You see? Now we can really see the three-dimensional effect. Of course, I put the dark here to make sure that here I can keep contrast. Now let's take again our light gray. Okay, now I take my blue pencil, the one with which I did the, all the line work, I get a ruler, okay, and I let's do some uh, line work. As you can see, I'm trying to to get a very nice uh, dynamic effect with my line quality and line work. You see, it's becoming very crispy now. It's almost jumping out of the page. So that's what we want, that type of effect. So it, basically with this, uh, with this uh, short tutorial, I'm trying to show you how we make a cube and how we use markers or how you could use markers. Now the lines, the interior lines, every time we make a, a work like that, the outline, it's going to be always darker and stronger, thicker, but all the lines inside the shape, that will be much thinner. Okay, that's a rule. That's a graphic uh, drawing rule. They also will have their dynamic effect, okay? And now it's time to do the same thing for our shadow. Now, there is one more thing to do. The reflection of the cube into the shadow, because we are, on, imagine we are on a table, okay? So, it's gonna be like this. Those are the little things that uh, can make a sketch uh, to be more interesting, okay? So I take my pencil, all right? And I make this part a little bit darker. Can you see the reflection? Let me take this closer. Okay, I hope uh, you liked it and I hope this can be useful to you. Okay, take care, thank you. Try, try to repeat, try to do the same thing again.